Senator Grove Community School Corporation is planning to use artificial intelligence at its nine campuses to detect guns. CBS 4 Scarlett O'Hara explains how this technology works and what parents are saying about it. The Center Grove Community School Corporation has already partnered with local law enforcement to monitor its campuses. So by installing AI gun detection software, they're hoping to enhance their existing capabilities. A gun carried by the wrong hands onto school property is any parent's worst nightmare. I think it's a, always a thought in the back of your mind when you send them off to school. Um, you never know what could happen. With the addition of artificial intelligence to hundreds of existing cameras, school leaders hope to proactively protect students and faculty. Assistant Superintendent Bill Long says this provides peace of mind in a time of unease by detecting illegally brandished guns on campus. I think there's good things about AI and bad things about AI, but if it can detect guns in our schools, I think that's great. Not everyone is on board, including a parent who agreed to share her thoughts anonymously. Artificial intelligence has gone from being helpful to an invasion of privacy, in my opinion. And this would just be another example of that. She's worried introducing AI could lead them down a slippery slope of data collection. I am very thankful for the police that we have at the schools, and I've talked to them on a regular basis. I'm very um, confident in them. But yeah, I just, it's a big no for me. I would say I would agree with those parents' concerns. Software company Zero Eyes co-founder Sam Alimo says by not streaming live camera feeds, the company does not have the ability to store biometric data. We just want to tell that parent there's an assault rifle in front of an elementary school. That is our sole task and purpose. We're not looking to invade privacy. The software works by identifying visible guns within view of any camera, sharing that information with the company's operations center, which will then decide whether to dispatch local police within a matter of seconds. Alimo says Center Grove is not the first Indiana school district to use the technology. The system is verified, and I can't quantify you for you how many shootings didn't happen because of our software. We, we, we can't quantify how many people didn't die, and that's... That's the name of the game. We want that to be the case. In Greenwood, Scarlett O'Hara, CBS 4 News.